My name is Miles Johnson of The Basis Project. Over the years I've interviewed many people. Some have passed away shortly after being interviewed for one reason or another. But on this occasion I have to announce that Max Spears has died. Uh, whilst I was lecturing at the Project Camelot Awake and Aware conference in Passing Clouds in Hackney, just as I left on Saturday the 16th at about 6.30, I got a text message from Madeline in Warsaw that uh, Max Spears had died. The apparent, at this time, formal time of death was about 6 o'clock Warsaw time, so about an hour and a half after his passing, uh, we got the message. In fact, only half an hour after the passing, I think, if we look at the times, different times. So uh, I also got some messages from Monica Duval, where Max had passed away. A number of doctors, I understand a number of doctors were called and they tried to revive him. Subsequent information uh, from Monica says that the day before or a couple of days before, roughly the day before, which would be the Friday, uh, Max was losing an awful lot of black fluid from his body. And all I can say is it seems strange that uh, he wasn't taken to the hospital. Max was declared dead on Saturday evening. Now, during the course of my... Uh, uh, I was asked by Monica and um, Madeline desperately to find some next of kin for Max Spears. That's to say, his mother. At that moment, the only way of doing so, as I was about to enter a tra get onto a train back to Wiltshire, was to record a very brief shout out on Facebook to appeal for anybody from Max Spears' family to get in touch immediately. During the course of that train journey, there was a message from Monica that there could be some hope. This was now about two hours after his declared passing. So hope, if there's hope, if there's any hope at all that somebody may recover somehow, we have to cling on to that hope. And that is when a bunch of uh, internet rumors going around that he was uh, in a coma and all sorts of things started happening. Max has passed away. He has died. On the Sunday morning, the 17th of July, 2016, his mother was finally on her way to see Max's remains. And Monica Duval informed me that uh, earlier that morning, Max's remains were removed from her apartment and uh, taken to a morgue in Warsaw. He passed away after losing a great deal of black fluid from his body during the course of the previous hours. Any other information on this we don't know. We await formal uh, cause of death and formal information. I am making a statement in conjunction with Kerry Cassidy, because I'll be on with her later today. We feel that uh, Max's death is highly suspicious. The relevant medical attention seems to have not been uh, given at the required time and there are concerns that uh, Max may have uh, been given substances which caused internal injuries resulting in his death. Those are our concerns and I'm asking formally that Max Spears' death be treated with suspicious, grave suspicion and that an autopsy is held and suitable legal process engaged so that the truth behind Max Spears' death is fully and properly investigated and we're not going to let this sit. I hope that due legal process and evidence at this critical early stage is obtained so that the correct and actual findings as to why and how Max Spears reached this end so early in his life is uh, found out immediately as soon as possible. As such, as immediately I finish this recording, I will be reporting my uh, concerns to the police here in Devizes and I will be asking for them to conduct 
an investigation into Max Spears' death. I think we owe that to Max. Maybe there is nothing of any concern, but quite frankly, I feel that the fact he was never taken to hospital after losing so much um, black substance, which some people are saying is due to some kind of intestinal rupture, black blood or whatever, uh, but I'm not a medical person, I don't know. All I do know is that I feel this is a very suspicious situation. This, these suspicions and the questions must be asked and asked properly, and I'm asking that the Polish authorities act in a proper and decent manner and collect the relevant evidence and ask the relevant questions. I believe that Max Spears' death is gravely suspicious and frankly is murder. And I'm putting that on record and uh, I hope that the family concerned are not... Well, I feel that we owe Max Spears a full investigation into his death and that's it. So, over to Max Spears, happy, full of life in Canterbury, only about 18 months to two years ago, in happy, wonderful form, and only a few days ago, or weeks ago, he was having a wonderful time and um, really enjoying life. He was cleaning up his act. He was uh, recording interviews, which I now understand the Polish have uploaded. He was looking forward to a wonderful rest of his life, and I think his death must be investigated. Thank you, Max. We've had a few words spoken. I think there were the right sort of words needed spoken. You were focused on your presentation for the BASIS conference on August the 13th, only three or four weeks away now. You were promising a brilliant presentation, and now you're not able to deliver that. God bless you, Max, wherever you are. God bless the family. Let's find the truth behind Max's passing. This is the golden key. Yes, next to the dragon. And you're trapped again in the Ouroboros loop. And I'm done, because I've done it four times already. This time we're doing, what we're doing now, we've done four times before. You've done it before, we've done it four, and we fucked up each yeah. time before. And I'm not going to do it this time. Good. I'm gone Good. this time around. Good. So if you want to stay, stay. <laughs>